Yo, what's going on guys? This is Keck back here with another Animal Jam video. And in today's video, guys, I thought I would do a little bit of a story time video of uh, how I, I guess, accidentally became Jam Ambassador, at least to a good majority of the community anyway. So a lot of people were confused about, you know, whether I was a Jam Ambassador or not, pretty much. And there is a reason for that because of one item I obtained in 2021. Before I get into that though, I want to go over today's video giveaway is for this blue headdress right here. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on drop a like on the video and then let me know in the comment section below what you think about it it's all you gotta do additional entries can be found in the description below but let's hop into it so you're probably wondering um why did people think i was a jam ambassador and obviously there is a reason for that now in 2021 i actually made a video about when this happened but uh, i i privated it because i don't really like the video i'm not gonna lie but i, I kind of just put it out because i needed to explain it to people what was going on but pretty much I have an item on my account here and it is pretty much the Jam Ambassador plaque. <laughs> now, you might see this in some old videos of mine, uh, all of these items, by the way, you'll see in my old videos. A lot of people think I lost these items, but no, I can assure you, I keep all my items well safe. But this here, the Jam Ambassador plaque, uh, this is an item that obviously I should not have because I am not a Jam Ambassador. You know, I, I think a lot of people confuse the fact that, you know, you need to apply for Jam Ambassador and then also be an animal jam youtuber with a lot of subscribers a lot of people confuse that sometimes but no there's a difference between the two there's a long grueling process in order to get a uh you know become a jam ambassador and then also therefore getting the plaque is also part of that process now um i never really originally went into depth on how this plaque got into the game because this is very different from a lot of the other jam ambassador plaques that were in the game and what i mean by that is this should have never existed uh this doesn't belong to any particular jam ambassador and was traded to me but uh it was traded to someone else or it was given to someone else i should say and then they subsequently traded it to me now i can't remember the person's username because this was obviously two years ago when this happened um i probably have the screenshot of the trade still um uh, which i'll throw up on screen right now if i can't but um if i can't find it it was just pretty much a few rare pets in exchange for this plaque here which obviously was a very big under trade on my end i do acknowledge that by the way um back then when i was trading for this there was no set price on the jam ambassador plaque because nobody had ever traded for one before and uh you know the person i was trading wanted rare pets and i just kind of offered what i had and then they accepted obviously afterwards uh people then realized like hey that, that's a little bit of an under trade and then the person and i like talked afterwards and i gave them more items afterwards and uh, they were pretty happy with the trade overall they didn't want to trade back even though i did offer it and uh i was pretty happy as well because i'm a big plaque fanatic i would say you know as you've seen in my inventory there i, I love plaques they're one of my favorite items in the game i do love den uncommons and whatnot you know hard to find den items as well so uh this was like a dream come true for someone like me but obviously uh at the time this was 2021 uh jam ambassador applications were highly anticipated on being announced uh, i think this was a few weeks before they actually announced a lot of the jam ambassadors that uh we did end up seeing in the 2021 wave i guess you can call it uh so when i you know randomly show up with this plaque and then put it in my den with all the other plaques people are wondering hey uh how did you get this keck where did you, what what hhq worker did you pay off for this one and then yeah i had to explain like in a video back then like yeah i i traded for this this wasn't like i didn't become a jam ambassador unfortunately which would have been cool but uh i think we all know now that uh, that won't ever happen unfortunately but you know it's just the way the cookie crumbles back to what i was saying uh this plaque should have never been into the game and the reason i say that is because this plaque right here uh was accidentally given to someone <laughs> and then it was traded to me so uh there is a jam ambassador by the name of awesome is me one two three 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 or something like that um i probably misremembering that if i'm not wrong um i'll throw them up on screen right now they make some pretty cool stuff i haven't kept up with them in a while i don't know if they're too active anymore but they make some pretty cool animations and whatnot that's where i kind of knew, knew them from anyway and uh they have a animal jam account called awesome is me one two three three as you might would guess uh now i don't think this is them this is an impersonator this is the real awesome is me one two three i'm, I'm pretty sure yeah this is the real one 
one. And the one I just looked up is in an impersonator. Now you're probably wondering why I'm emphasizing that the fact this is an impersonator, because this this plaque right here that I have, I have, I'm now in possession of or have been in possession of was given to this person right here. Uh, this person made this username and I doubt they even thought anything of it, but uh, Alamo Jam, when distributing these Jambassador plaques to new Jambassadors, when Awesome Is Me was initially picked years prior, accidentally gave it to them uh, along with a Magenta Tiara, I believe, and a couple other things. I believe they also got free membership, which was kind of weird. Um, and this was then traded to another person or given to another person. Person who impersonated Awesome Is Me gave it to the person I ended up trading for this plaque as a kind of birthday gift, I think they told me, and then they ended up trading it to me. And that's how I came of possession of this plaque, pretty much. But I just think it's a really weird and funny thing, because this shouldn't exist. It really shouldn't. And the fact I have it is uh, also really funny to me. Now, um, you probably saw in my inventory this plaque here as well, the videographer plaque. Uh, this is kind of like a, a similar prestigious plaque, I would say. It's, it was only ever given to Animal Jam YouTubers that like had over 100,000 subscribers. But then they started becoming like less lenient with it and like started giving it to people that like had really successful Animal Jam videos. Um, I never got these uh, given to me by a a AJ. Any of these items I never got given to by Alamo Gem themselves. Uh, but I traded for both of these when they were like, pretty low in demand and low in worth. Uh, so I ended up getting them. But uh, the, the requirements uh, for this, are, like, it's pretty hard to get um, if you were to follow requirements. But even if you met those requirements, I'm pretty sure they don't really give out these plaques anymore. Unless it's to like new ambassadors. Uh, I don't even know about that. But uh, don't quote me on that. But uh, earlier on in the video, I did mention that, uh, you know, they're not really traded around much ambassador plaques because obviously they're they're owned by ambassadors you would think most ambassadors in this game would hold on to that because it's a pretty symbolic item i would say and a pretty big milestone for anyone that does obtain this item uh in legitimately i would say um even though i did trade for mine legitimately obviously there is that you know difference there between actually getting one from animal jam there would be a huge sentimental difference i guess and that's what i assume it is like for a lot of ambassadors that do uh actually have their ambassador plaques and were given to them by AJHQ. However, there's been jam ambassadors over the years that were actually hacked. Uh, I think Snowy Claw is one of the noti uh, notable ones that was hacked and their jam ambassador plaque was traded around and I think duplicated at some point as well. Uh, that can be say said for a lot of other jam ambassadors as well. Uh, they were hacked and then duplicated uh, the, uh, the plaques as well because they got restored to the account but the uh, hacked versions were never deleted out of the game. Uh, I believe this was also during 2021 when that big hack happens which you know maybe i'll make a video on talking about how that you know happened and what led up to that in the future but you know uh back in 2021 though this was like the first time like someone not a jambassador I, I think besides one person ended up with a jambassador plaque and i thought it was pretty funny and uh i thought it was pretty satisfying anyway because i finally had a full plaque collection and now i'm just you know continuously adding on to them trying to like scurry up as many you know plaques as i can trying to hoard them all because i need to have them all pretty much is what i'm trying to say but now you see them being traded you know a lot of the ones that are like actively traded if they are actively traded i don't really see them traded that much because it's not like a highly saw item that that's for sure but a lot of the ones that are traded around are uh, obviously hacked so i would encourage to trade for them obviously that doesn't mean like people are just gonna listen to me and like not trade for them but uh you know there's no risk factor to trading for them either i don't think anyway but personally i don't want any more jam bastard plaques i'm pretty content with the just the one and uh you know, hoarding Jambassador plaques would be near impossible because mostly every Jambassador in existence would never trade theirs. So that's not something I would attempt. But, you know, pretty funny story. Thought I would share with you guys. But yeah, let's go wrap it up for this video. Make sure to subscribe and notifications on if you guys do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one. Make sure to leave a like on it if you did enjoy it and let me know what you thought of in the comments down below. What you guys think about this? Do let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.